Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the newest banner that just dropped featuring Sephiroth and Glenn. And I'll be honest, I wasn't really expecting a, a banner. So, uh, you know, that's kind of neat uh, that they dropped another one. I'm really happy to see another banner. I'm, I've always been a fan of more banners, even if that means more things that we can't get, um, especially for people who are free to play. I'm big on that. I'm a little disappointed that it's not a third crossover banner. Um, the crossover still has 12 days left, and I feel like Final Fantasy IX got three. Why doesn't Monster Hunter get three? I really just think that that would have been good. Also, I don't know, it kind of seems like you've got these two awesome banners. You still have a crossover going on, and then you kind of just like drop this third banner, which is like, eh, okay, I guess it's for the crash that they've also just started. Whatever. I'm happy to have the banner, but I would have liked to have seen another crossover, even if I know it gets people upset because there's so many things to pull for, but I'd rather have more than less. Uh, that just, I, that's just how I feel. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into what's going on here. And I will just come out and say, I think that mostly this is going to be a skip uh, almost certainly for any free-to-play players, uh, light spenders as well. Unless you're just, you know, really into Sephiroth, then it would make some sense, uh, I guess, to pull. Starting off with the costume, uh, like the shoe boots. Uh, I'm not really sure about the chaps. It kind of looks a little bit weird to me. Uh, I like the jacket, man. As a 90s kid, uh, this jacket is, I think, pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like the dude version of Aerith's with the short... Uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I would probably wear this one as Sephiroth. I think it's one of the better costumes that they've made for him. And, uh, yeah. Okay, what does it do? Buff debuff extension plus 10 points. That's awesome. As if Waterblade Arcanum wasn't enough, what we've been seeing here now is that we're adding even more to it. So, it's not buff debuff extension plus. So, it isn't like a standalone guaranteed, you know, 60 or 40% or whatever. It is just the 10 points, which is still good for 40%, and uh, with Waterblade Arcanum, I think that makes this an awesome costume. Sephiroth doesn't really have water damage until this banner, so I don't know. It's kind of up to you whether or not you think that's important. I went for the bunny outfit for Tifa, so she has it. I've also got Cloud. I do not have Sailor's Garb, but for me, it's going to be a skip, and I'll get to that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and look at the weapon. Uh, it's called Tempest, and I'll just look at it at OB10. It maxes out at 700% physical water damage, which is okay, uh, but it's got a water breach, right? Water resist decreased. Starting at OB6, it goes high potency, and we're looking at 4027 at OB6, 4639 at OB10. Uh, support materials, it's got a sigil break. That's good. The rest is physical. So yeah, by the way, this is a physical water-based move. Whereas Tifas are not. Tifas are magical. So, this would help you cover physical water damage. And, you know, if you're a whale, obviously that's a big thing. If you're not a whale, then, like I said, I think the problem is we've got a summer event coming up that is sure to be better than this. We've got Vincent coming up in, I would say, a month tops. That's sure to be better than this. And lastly, we have an anniversary coming up. That is, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind it will be better than this. And so, uh, you can always wishlist the weapon later. Uh, the costume, it's whether or not you think that you need Sephiroth to do water damage. Right now, I don't think there's enough support for it for him, and so I'm not really concerned about it. Yes, it's physical, and that is, you know, something that I don't have, really. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just not really too worried about it. Now, just to kind of uh, show... A comparison of a similar weapon, right? Kate Sith had this green megaphone when he first came out. It is almost a carbon copy of the Sephiroth weapon, except for it does 80% less damage at OB10. Other than that, though, it does all the exact same stuff. And even though it starts out at high at OB6, both of these can get to high with double cast, even at OB5. So, the weapon isn't something that even to me is that necessary to get that high if you're going to be using it for the breach. Even Kate Sith has a sigil break. So 
I've actually already got Kate Siths as well. That's just one more reason that I'm not really worried about getting this at the moment. We'll go ahead and take a look at Glenn's weapon next, though. And uh, this is called Slay the Day. That's kind of a cool name for a weapon. Here we can see at OB10, it does 420% physical non-elemental damage. Single enemy. That is atrocious. But what does it do? Physical defense decrease, potency mid, max potency mid. And if HP is 50% or higher, uh, increases his own water damage. Potency is mid to mid at 5 star, but at OB6, it's high potency. And you can see here, decent physical attack stats, uh, decent water potency. And it has boost water, which is pretty nice, because that kind of makes this weapon, I think, hmm, somewhat decent, even if you don't have his limit break weapon. And the Limit Break weapon is kind of like the counterpart to this. And I believe that weapon is called Stream Slasher. It was the one that was released around the same time that Cloud got his physical damage, uh, you know, boost the whole party's physical damage. And then Sephiroth got boost the whole party's uh, magic attack. So I said physical damage, but I meant physical attack. So that's kind of what we are. Uh, that is like the companion, I would say, to Glenn's previous weapon. Um, which we've been seeing a lot more of lately, right? We have Tifa who had, you know, the feathered gloves and the bunny gloves and those complement each other. So they've been doing this new thing where they basically give you a pair of weapons to go for and each one of them has a great effect that enables the other or, you know, ultimately buffs your damage in more than one way. So, um, you know, do I think these are good? Yeah, I think both weapons are wishlistable in the future. Absolutely. I don't i just don't think that this costume is good enough even if you had 100k crystal saved personally unless you were it like sephiroth is your dude then you know that's a no-brainer no matter what but other than that i think it's just a save i would rather see what we've got for the summer event what we've got for um vincent and what we've got for the anniversary i don't think this is good enough to matter also let's be honest Another thing that we've learned is, you know, there's a lot more value in limit break and crossover banners. Uh, for example, you know, if we look at crossover banner here, once we get to page two, there's two extra weapons thrown in. And, you know, in, in some of the limit break banners, there's actually even more. Whereas we get to these featured ones and it's back to the same old stuff where, you know, we don't get any extra ones. So. That's even more reason to save stuff for, you know, anniversaries, crossovers, or, you know, obviously the drop of new characters. That's just kind of where I think. And while I'm here talking about new weapons, just real briefly, I did want to mention the fact that the crossover event has randomly added a few new uh, things to get in the shop. Uh, to my knowledge, it's just these three. There's the synth catalyst, the four star guaranteed weapons, and the draw tickets, the regular draw tickets. Uh, I think it's cool that they've added that, like keeping it alive, I guess, giving us reasons to continue to do the event, even for those of us who've cleared the shop, which is why I would really like to have seen, I don't know, I think they could have even done the crash event tied to this since it's happening at the same time. Whatever, that's just me always wanting something more. The other thing though, is the newest weapon in the Blue Red Hunt and that is going to be right now we have access to rad rod and at ob10 you can see here it's another water damage uh boost magic attack boost water potency which we actually already have two weapons that do this exact same thing i'm not uh, upset about having a third because it just really enables a uh, magic attack with water uh, but that's kind of everything I wanted to say. Let me know if you're going to be pulling or if you did pull, how it went, what you think. Um, if you're saving crystals, what are you saving them for? Are you saving them for the summer event? Are you saving them for Vincent? Or are you going big on that anniversary? I would really like to know. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.